Robots are no longer confined to repetitive tasks. They're now tackling complex challenges, thanks to a groundbreaking model by Google DeepMind. Surprised? You won't want to miss what's coming up. Google DeepMind, a name synonymous with cutting-edge AI research, has taken a giant leap in the field of robotics. In collaboration with 33 academic labs, they've introduced something that could change the way we think about robots and their capabilities. We're talking about the OpenX embodiment dataset and the revolutionary RTX and RT2 models. If you're as excited about the future of AI and robotics as we are, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop with all the latest developments. Data is like the fuel for a car, but for robots, it's what helps them learn and get better. Google DeepMind, a big name in tech, teamed up with top schools to create a special set of data for robots. They call it the OpenX Embodiment Dataset, and it's a game changer. It covers a lot of ground. We're talking about 22 different types of robots doing more than 150,000 tasks, and they didn't do it just once. These tasks were repeated over a million times. That's a lot of learning material for robots. Why do we need all this data? Well, think about how you learn. You don't just read one book or take one class. You learn from different experiences, and this data set helps robots do the same. It's like a big school for robots, teaching them many different skills. Before this, robots were kind of like one-trick ponies. They were good at one thing, but couldn't handle anything new. This data set is changing that. It's like a library full of books on different subjects, but for robots. They can learn new skills and get better at things they already know, but it's about how good that data is. For example, you're learning to cook. You wouldn't want a cookbook with bad recipes, right? The same goes for robots. The data needs to be high quality, and that's what Google DeepMind has done. They've set a new standard for what good robot training looks like. So, in a car factory in Detroit, robots used to do simple tasks like lifting heavy parts and putting them in place. But that was pretty much it. Then, the factory started using robots trained with data similar to the OpenX embodiment dataset. Change was amazing. These new robots could do more than just lift things. They could sort parts by size and material, check for defects, and even do some basic assembly. The result? The factory's production went up by 30%, and the number of mistakes went way down. This data set is like a super advanced course for robots, and it's changing the game in a big way. In the past, robots were trained to do just one or two things. As of now, the world is a complex place. If you only know how to do one thing, you're limited. But if you can do many things, you're way more useful. This data set is helping robots become multi-talented, just like people. Another big point is teamwork. This data set wasn't made by just one group. It was a team effort with Google DeepMind and 33 academic labs. That's a lot of smart people working together. But the real catch is, any company or school can take this data and use it to make their robots better. It's like a treasure chest of robot skills, and it's open for everyone. When you have 33 academic labs working together, you're breaking down the walls that often keep different fields separate. This means experts in machine learning, robotics, data science, and even ethics can come together to look at the big picture. Take climate change, for example. It's not just an environmental issue. It's also a data issue, a human behavior issue, and an economic issue. The same goes for robotics and AI. By working together, experts can come up with solutions that are more comprehensive and far-reaching. When a project like this is successful, it encourages other industries to adopt a similar collaborative approach. Imagine the breakthroughs we could see in medicine, renewable energy, or education if experts in those fields started working together like this. The RT2 model is like the genius kid in the class. It's built on something called transformer architectures, which are known for being really good at handling different types of data. But what sets RT2 apart is its use of both visual and textual data. That means it can understand its surroundings and also read and interpret instructions. It's like having a robot that can both see the world and understand it. Now, because most robots are good at either doing tasks or processing information, but not both, the RT2 model changes that. It's trained to be good at a variety of tasks and to adapt to new ones. In tests, 
this model showed a huge improvement in how well robots performed. We're talking about a tripling in performance on real-world robotic skills. Imagine a robot that can not only lift heavy objects, but can also understand complex instructions like move the apple near the cloth versus move the apple on the cloth. That level of understanding opens up new possibilities, like robots that can assist in complicated medical surgeries or help with disaster relief, where quick, accurate understanding of situations is crucial. Chain of thought, prompting, and vision models in the RT2 robot are like giving the robot a way to think and see better. Imagine you tell the robot to move an apple near a cloth. The robot will actually think about what near means and where the cloth is. It's not just blindly following orders, it's thinking it through. Plus, it can see really well so it knows exactly where everything is. This is super important in real life. Think about a robot in a hospital. It needs to know the difference between medical tools and hand over the right one during surgery. So, this new tech makes robots smarter and more useful in real-world situations. In more than 6,000 robotic trials, RT2 performed more efficiently than RT1 on tasks it was trained for. Most notably, it almost doubled its performance on new, unseen scenarios, jumping to a 62% success rate from RT1's 32%. Here are some practical applications of robotics and AI that could be relevant to the capabilities of the RT2 model. Healthcare. Robots equipped with AI can assist in surgeries, provide patient care, and even help in the early detection of diseases. Agriculture. AI-powered robots can be used for tasks like planting, watering, and harvesting crops. They can adapt to different weather conditions and types of crops, making agriculture more efficient. Manufacturing. In factories, robots with AI capabilities can work alongside humans, taking over dangerous or repetitive tasks. They can also adapt to different manufacturing processes, improving efficiency and safety. Disaster relief. Robots can be deployed in disaster-stricken areas where it's too dangerous for humans. They can be used for search and rescue missions, as well as delivering supplies. Autonomous vehicles. Self-driving cars, drones, and even ships can benefit from the kind of AI and robotics integration that models like RT2 offer. They can adapt to different driving conditions, make real-time decisions, and even learn from their environment. The advancements in robotics and AI, particularly with models like RT2, are transformative forces for various industries. From healthcare and agriculture to manufacturing and disaster relief, the applications are both broad and deeply impactful. As technology continues to evolve, the integration of AI and robotics will only become more seamless, opening doors to possibilities we can't yet fully imagine. So as we look to the future, it's clear that these technologies will play an increasingly vital role in shaping a world that's more efficient, safer, and more adaptable to the challenges that lie ahead. If you've journeyed with us this far, let's seal this knowledge pact. Drop a comment below with the magic word RTX to signal the newfound insights you have gotten from this video. And just before you go, hit the like and subscribe button to stay tuned for more thrilling updates.